With so much happening in the world right now, let's discuss coffee and tea. Tea's history dates back to nearly 5,000 years ago. It was first found and used by the Chinese Emperor Shen Nong in 2700 BCE. Sir, it eat 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 it Coffee was first discovered in Yemen in 900 AD, roughly 3,000 years after tea. One day, a goat and goat herd were wandering about. The goat eats something that resembles a berry. The goat becomes very energetic, like he was on cracked cocaine. The goat herder saw and tried the berries as well. He also suffered from the same effects. They brought the berries to a local monk who disapproved of them, saying, These are the devil's seeds. He chucked them into the fire. However, a beautiful aroma emerged from the fire. This attracted the other monks. They all jumped in the fire trying to rescue the berries. After rescuing the berries, their next very logical step was to boil it in water and voila, we have discovered coffee. Now, tea and coffee are both drinks that originated for different audiences. Tea was the drink of emperors, a drink for royalty. Coffee was a humble drink, for poor people, peasants if you will, like many of yourselves watching from home. Whilst I prefer the taste of coffee, the biggest problem I have with coffee is that every time I drink it, I need to go for the runniest, slimiest and smelliest shits. I wreak absolute havoc and destruction upon the toilet, absolutely no mercy is shown, and as a result, the winner for me has to be coffee. The fact that I've put my leaking donut through this much pain for 10 plus years is testament to how good coffee is.